Hey guys, how's everybody doing tonight? So I don't normally hop on on a Friday night, but I decided to take the day with my girls since this was their first day of spring break. So I normally am getting all this done during the day, but we went shopping instead. So we've been out all day and went and had dinner and now I'm hopping on with you guys. So I get this question all the time, probably more than I get most questions, is what do I need to get started? So most people don't know where to start, and because they don't know where to start, it's overwhelming, and so they just don't start. So I'm gonna make it simple for you. I'm gonna go over what you need to get started, and um, you can always add on. I have a lot of stuff, but you can start with a minimal amount to get painting at home and to get yourself past that fear factor that we sometimes have. So as you guys are hopping on, let me know you're on here. Say hi, tell me where you're watching from. Hit the share button. Um, share all this knowledge with everybody else who wants to know how to paint too. Hey Becky, hey Deborah. So what did everyone do tonight? Or are you going to do? We went and had sushi at a new place. It was really good. So. Now we're all full and tired, and we're getting ready to watch a movie after I get off here. Hello from Houston. Hey, Sonia. Hey, Nancy. So um, if you haven't already, um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time to hop on here before we jump right in to the supplies. I want to remind you about... The spring truck challenge that starts on Sunday so you've probably seen my quick little video about it um, and you may have seen the live from the other day but I want to recap because there's only a few days left to sign up for it and never do you get the opportunity to paint with me for only ten dollars so um, this is a steal it's gonna be a lot of fun we have a pop-up group we've already got over 90 women in there ready to start this painting on Sunday so if you don't know what I'm talking about, hello Gail, this is what we're gonna paint. So this is my spring truck and the challenge um, starts on Sunday evening. Um, I won't give an exact time because I can't promise an exact time, but it'll be Sunday evening. If you can't watch the videos and you can't be in the group when I do the lives, it doesn't matter because they stay in the group and you can watch them whenever you want to. And I did decide to archive the group after we closed the like the live teaching. So it'll be there for you. So once you're a member, you'll be able to go back and access the training on this whenever it's convenient for you. So I know a lot of people were worried about that because they're gonna be out of town for spring break or whatever it may be. Um, and you were worried you weren't gonna get to do the class because, um, because you were gonna miss the live videos. And that is perfectly fine. You do not have to be in their lives so basically for 10 bucks you get access to this material forever so i'm going to walk you through everything how to paint the truck how to transfer the image on so you do not have to freehand that um, the list of supplies specifically for that painting is inside of our group um sonia i will post the link i got my i prepared a little bit i got my ipad ready so i could pull this up and post some links for you um, once we started talking about um, the different things. So let me get that pulled up really quick. So let me know if you guys have any questions regarding um, regarding the um, pop-up group. And you'll have more details in this link below as well. Oops, wrong one, hang on. But basically what's gonna happen is, again, it starts Sunday night and on Sunday, we will start with the very beginning. So we're just gonna prep our canvas, get our um, painting area set up, transfer the truck image on there, um, and just start with basics. So I'm splitting up the teaching into five days. So it'll start Sunday, it'll end Thursday. And I'm trying to do that to make it um, easier for you guys. So a lot of times you don't have a full hour or two hours um, that you can commit to painting so i thought this would be fun to just basically divide this up over the span of five days so each lesson is going to be like maybe 15 or 20 minutes a day and again 
If you get behind, that matter because it'll stay there for you. So I'm going to copy and paste this for you really quick in the comments. Hey Lisa, thank you. We have a lot of fun in our group. So Lisa's in um, my membership. Um, Becky's in my membership. Who else is on here? Debbie. So there's several of these ladies that get to paint with me every single month. And um, we are also opening the online membership back up. It's been closed since September was our last big launch. And we're finally opening the doors again to accept new members to that group. Um, so we'll give you some more information about that as well. But we're going to go ahead and start going over some of these supplies. So I put the link on there for you. Make sure I didn't miss any, any questions. So first things first is you need something to paint on. So I really should have silenced my, or put do not disturb on my phone. I keep having little notifications pop up. Um, hey Terry, the first thing you need is something to paint on. So you have a couple different options. I highly, highly, highly recommend this. This is a mixed media pad. It's 11 by 14. This is kind of like a sketchbook for painting. I do everything in here. So I've already used up one full one. I think I may have a few spare pages in the back, but you can see, you can just paint on this just like you would canvas, even like thick stuff like these palette knife flowers that I did. And the other cool thing about this, let me show you. This is one that I just did with my membership um, on Wednesday. So if you like this painting, it's inside the membership. That's one of our March ones. So we did black and white poppies. And I'm gonna show you why I love doing these in the mixed media pad. Because if you don't want to always commit to painting on canvas, or maybe if you're doing these for your house, you don't want everything to just be canvases all over your wall. You want to change it up a little bit. So look, it's got a perforated edge, so all I had to do was carefully just kind of pop that off, it's super easy, didn't tear it all, and now I can put it in a frame. So I just got, sorry that light is shining, so I just got this frame at Michael's, I'm sure you can get them anywhere, but look how pretty that is going to be, I'm trying to not get that glare on there, once that is framed and matted. And that is just from a mixed media pad, so how cool is that? Um, so I highly recommend getting those, and it takes the, I think for a lot of people, when you paint on canvas you feel like it's permanent and it has to be perfect which it doesn't but that's still what you think you allow yourself more freedom to make mistakes when you're in your mixed media pad it's like it's okay if you mess up just turn the page and paint again which is what i recommend you do keep practicing you may not get every brush stroke correct the first time that you try it and that's fine most people don't you just keep doing it until you get better and you learn how much pressure to put down or how to hold it or you watch more of my videos and you kind of, you just learn more as you go. So I highly recommend a mixed media pad. Karen, if the link doesn't work, sometimes they don't work while you're in a live. You may have to wait for the live to get over if it's not working for you. Um, Cheryl said, is there, Yes, Cheryl, I am going to go talk to you guys after this in our boot camp group, and I'm going to tell you all about um, getting into the membership and what you guys are going to get for that. Thank you, Beth. Um, what else? Okay, before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and list, because everything I'm talking about with you guys tonight is in my um, Amazon store, which is my affiliate link, so I have to say that. I get a tiny commission off of things that you buy from the store. But I love this because it allows me to put everything in one spot for you guys so you're not searching all over the place. And even if you don't choose to buy it from Amazon, you can see the pictures, see what it looks like. And if you want to go to your local craft store and get it instead, that's fine. 
but I don't know if you guys like Amazon as much as I do, but I love click and buy. So <laughs> it makes it super easy. So I just posted, okay, making sure it showed up. So I just posted the Amazon store link. So you don't have to go there now, but it's in the comments. So when we get done talking about all of this, you can um, go there and get your supplies if you want them. So that's option number one is your mixed media pad. And then obviously canvas. This is 11 by 14. You can also do 16 by 20. Well, you can do whatever size you want. But these are just simple, cheap canvases. You do not need to spend a lot of money on canvases, okay? You don't need to buy the fancy ones. You don't need to buy the thick ones, all that stuff. You just need some canvases. The, the place that has the best deal is Hobby Lobby because they have like a seven pack of 11 by 14s for $9.99. Uh, you get five 16 by 20s. They're all $9.99. Um, so that's like $2 or less per canvas. So that is the way to go. Becky, I don't have any easels posted. Not, not the ones that um, Corey built because we're not going to ship those. But as far as easels, if you're just setting this up at home, I would honestly probably just go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby sometimes. I think it's Hobby Lobby that puts them on sale every other week. Um, or you can use your 40 or 50% off coupon, whatever you have there. Um, and a lot of times, you know, I paint flat now. So you can choose whether you want an easel um, or not. So, and another idea, and you guys can let me know if you think this would be something you want. Becky, you may be interested in this too, because I know you want the easels and we just don't have them ready to ship. But... This is what the easels look like that I use in my studio. And Corey built these for me. Um, so they're too big to ship like this. And we broke them down, but it's kind of a complicated um, process. So my other idea is selling the plans. So Corey has the plans all drawn up tells you the materials you need to build the easel. If that's something you guys are interested in, you can let me know and um, I can give you that information um, also. So that may be something we do is like sell the plans so you guys can build them. So depending on how ambitious you wanna get or if you just wanna go buy one from the store. So that gives you a few options. Okay, so canvases or mixed media pad to start with. Obviously you need some brushes. So I had mentioned before, I'm gonna see if I can find one over here. I have about a thousand brushes in my, but I'm just gonna, these are just a few from that set. So I'm gonna hold these up to show you. Okay, so brushes. I have some in my store. So this is one set, and I just got these the other day and actually used them in the, um, that black and white Poppies painting, and I absolutely love them. These are super um, sturdy bristles. You get that one inch flat brush that I use. Sorry, the, there's a glare. Um, I'm gonna open this really quick so that's not shining in your eye. But if you're doing the five day challenge with me, you need one of these. So you just need a one inch flat brush. This is just to do our entire background. And then you just need a simple round brush. We'll see if I can get this out of here. They really have them packaged up. And the plastic is kind of hard to get off. So anyways, there's a round in there also. That's all you need for the spring challenge if you're doing that. Um, so this is a 10 piece brush set that's in the Amazon store. I absolutely love it. I do have two brush sets in there. This is just a basic one, um, but it's got your filberts in different sizes. It's got angle brushes. It's got um, a couple different sizes of rounds. And then there's a bigger brush set that I don't have here that has a fan brush and a bigger variety of brushes for a couple dollars more. But the other one that like I cannot recommend this enough, I bought this a few months ago these are my artscape and it says acrylic watercolor or oil they're detail paint brushes like that you would use to do like model cars and stuff 
they are phenomenal itty bitty tiny little brushes so those of you that struggle with uh, heavy um, lines this is what you want and this detailed brush set is in my store as well I absolutely love this there's how many brushes are in here there's 12 you get 12 brushes in this set all different sizes so some of them are long bristles where you just kind of pull them across and it, it's called a liner brush some of them are spotters so you get little dots and then some of them are just tiny tiny little rounds where you can do outlines of things without it being too heavy-handed um, Terry I do have I do I think I have two easels um, that I can sell and I don't know when he's planning on building more so I can't make any promises to that but I have two so if you want to claim one of them Terry you can claim it um, Debbie what size are the rounds um, I don't know let's see this one this one's in a four let me see what the other one was the other one is a one and a two no a one a one and a four are what come in that set. A one, two, three, four, any of those sizes um, are fine for the spring truck, if that's what you're asking specifically. So yes, yeah. So just around, all you need the round for is that's what we're gonna do, the detailing on the truck and do the little flowers and stuff. So any of those, between one and four, um, a two is just a good happy medium. It's just a good size brush without being too small and without being too fat. So those are the brushes I recommend. And then if you, someone said, what about local? If you're local, <laughs> this one's terrible. I don't know what happened to that brush. Um, Michael's has, this is their artist loft brand and it's a 10 pack and they're the white um, bristles and it's only $4.99. This is what I used when I started my studio five years ago. This is what I bought because it was the most affordable for me to teach my classes with. So this is what all my students use, what we did all our paintings with. So if you want to pick up some local paint brushes, it's a 10 pack. They're blue handled white bristles and it has everything you need. It's got the one inch flat wash. It's got your angle brushes, your round brushes, all that stuff. So it is a great set of brushes and that's at Michael's and you can pick those up. I do have a YouTube channel, yeah, so you can just search the social easel. Most of it is just refurbished lives from here that then go over there, but I do have one up. All right, Terry, I will, I will hold one of those easels for you. Yeah, Nancy, the detail brush set is awesome. I agree. Oops, I swiped your comments off of there. So let's talk about paint. I use three different brands, pretty much. I use Michaels Craftsmart. So whenever I say I get it from Michaels, it's their brand. Craftsmart is Michaels brand, and it's their like everyday value. I think they're like 60, like this size is I think like 60 cents. So this one's vanilla. I just use craft paint, nothing fancy. I don't get, you can buy um, like artists, really, you know, like thick artist grade paint but I don't typically use that in my paintings. All the stuff that I teach you guys, we use the craft paints for. So you can get Michael's Craft Smart, you can get Deco Art Americana, and you can get this from Blick Art Supplies. I didn't post that link yet, um, but, and they have, I think these are on sale right now. Um, I think I was on there last night, and I think, I think these are 40% off right now. But I love Deco Art. The Americana Deco Art is one of my favorites because it's a little bit thicker than the Craft Smart and the Apple Barrel. So if you want a little bit thicker paint, the Americana is really good. And then you can get Apple Barrel from Walmart and Amazon Store. Both the Apple Barrel and Deco Art, I have some sets of them in my Amazon Store with really good starter colors. And um, if you're at your local Walmart, you can get some of the colors in the 8 ounce size. So I would definitely recommend that for like your white and your burnt umber and your black, those colors that you're gonna use in almost every painting. I would get the eight ounce. Sorry, I'm yawning. Yes, Blick Art Supplies is awesome. They have all kinds of good stuff. So does anyone have any questions about the paint? It's pretty self-explanatory. And <coughs> if you um, 
join my wait list if you are interested in the membership that is opening on the 18th. Actually, it's opening Sunday the 17th. We're opening it um, an evening early. Um, if you are interested in that and you want to know more about it and you want to get on the wait list, I'll put that link below. When you sign up on my wait list, you get a free painting tutorial so you kind of get to see how I teach um, in my membership. And you also get my must-have color list. So um, these are my favorite colors that I love to paint with and it tells you where to buy them at. So if you're interested in that, I'm gonna put that link up really quick. And again, if these links don't work for you right now, just wait until um, you pop off here and then go back to them as soon as I'm not live anymore and they'll work for you. So sometimes people can do it from live and sometimes people can't. But it's just my website. It's the social easel online paint studio.com. I've just posted the link there and you'll see a picture of me and then it says join wait list and you will get that information from me when you join that. De yes, you can also get deco art at Hobby Lobby. Yes, I forgot to mention that. And they also, every other week, if you don't know this already, Hobby Lobby puts their paint on sale. So all the two ounce bottles, which is what we use, if they're not on sale one week, if you can hold out until that next Monday, they'll be on sale the following week. So they just go back and forth. And then you can stock up at a good price. Okay, then you need brush cleaner. I am sorry I'm yawning so much. I didn't think I was that tired. But it's been a long week. Um, so this is my favorite brush cleaner. And it is a hard, like, hard soap. That light is making it really hard for you guys to see that. So what you do with this is I keep this at my sink and you just wet your brushes. I'll just show you because I have some wet ones here. I'll try to not drip it all over myself. So, wet paintbrush, you're just gonna stir it in. See if I can get past that light, there you go. And I'm just swishing it around on that hard soap and it starts sudsing up. And so once I get it like that, you'll just kinda rub it around in your hand and rinse. And once your colors run clear, then you're good to go. And this also protects the bristles on your brush as well. So it's kind of like a conditioner for them. Can you show the nutmeg color? I did, uh, okay, so the nutmeg is this. It's basically just a lighter brown. It's a lighter brown than the burnt umber. So burnt umber is really dark, and this is just like your regular brown. So if you don't have, if it's not nutmeg, any, any other lighter brown will do. Oh yeah, sorry, I forget. I don't have the camera switched around. It's called the Masters Brush Cleaner and Preserver. This is in my Amazon store too. So everything I'm showing you is in that store for you to refer back to when we get off here. Yes, Sonia, what are you, um, you're asking about in the painting challenge that the whole color list is in there. When you join, you can just download that and it will tell you exactly what colors you need. Thank you, Susan. Susan paints with me here locally, so she comes and paints with me at my paint nights, and she is in my membership. So she does lots of painting with me, and she's doing awesome at it. So that is Master's Brush Cleaner, again, and that is in, in my store. Okay, good. Yeah, you're covered, Jean. If you've got four browns, you are good to go. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then, this is more, you don't need this, what I'm talking about now, you don't need this for the spring truck challenge. This is if you like join the membership or you just wanna paint at home on your own. But I use these in my membership, palette knives of different sizes. And I have a palette knife set, that's what this is from, um, in my Amazon store that I love. Cause you have these long ones and they kind of bend. And then you have the different shape ones so you can get different like um, strokes and texture with them. I love the palette knives. You can use the palette knives with any of the regular craft paint just to get texture. So this is one 
from my membership. And so I use the palette knife on that background to get that cool looking texture. And then we used it down here. And that's stuff you just can't quite get with um, brushes. So I really love incorporating the palette knife into a lot of my paintings. How much is the, the monthly membership is $47 a month. And for that, you get three paintings per month with me. And then the fourth week is our troubleshooting technique um, week. And that's a live video I do with you guys in our private Facebook group where anything that you've been struggling with over the week, or I mean over the month, you can ask me about, I can show you the technique again, you know, that kind of thing. So, and it doesn't even have to be from that month. It can be from previous lessons that we've had further back in the membership. Um, so that's your monthly content. You get three full paintings with me, plus the troubleshooting technique week, plus our online community, which I think is the best part. It's called my inner tribe. You will love these ladies and gentlemen. Um, and you also get full access to everything we've done since the beginning. So there, I think there are, now I'm trying to remember, I need to go back and look at my numbers, but we started back in April. So there's over 20 paintings that you're going to get full access to as soon as you join. Everything inside my membership has the exact color list for it, has your supply list. Um, we have live Q&As recorded from previous months with all kinds of information. And one of my members was even awesome enough to go back and timestamp them. So if you're looking for something specific that I taught, she did a list to where you can just go back and f find exactly the minute in that video that you need to go to to hear me talk about that. So um, can we use a truck for painting parties? Yes, you can. Good question. You guys have permission to use this truck in your businesses locally. The only thing I ask is that you don't just reproduce it and try to teach it online again exactly the way that I did. So you guys have permission if you have your own painting business or you're wanting to get one started, you have my permission um, to use that truck and do local paint nights with it as well. Good, Susie. Yeah, we're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna have so much fun in the group. All right, I feel like I'm forgetting something here. We talked about, oh, I know going with palette knives. So I said you can use it um, with just regular craft paint. This is gel medium. This is Liquitex brand. There's tons of brands of this. This is gloss heavy gel. So if you want a gloss shiny finish, I also have a matte one that I use a lot. And all this is, is just clear. It's like, well, mine's dirty because I have paint <laughs> mixed in it. Um, but all you do is scoop some of this in whatever color of craft paint that you have, and then it makes it thicker. So um, it gives it more texture and it gives it a heavier body um, to use on your, um, on your paintings. You can use the plastic ones. The metal ones do work better, but you can, I mean, the plastic ones are what I use in my local classes. You can still get the effect um, with them. The metal ones just have a little bit more bend and I, I don't know, they're just, a they're a little bit higher quality. Um, yes, the transfer paper. Let me show you. Because when I said this, I think some people were confused about what transfer paper was. You can call it transfer paper or um, some people call it carbon paper. But it's just this black. It's like light gray on one side and like shiny dark black on the other side. This is what you will use. Let me grab my um, template really quick. So your template is not going to look, my hair is crazy right now. Your template is not going to look exactly like mine because I traced this right off of one of my trucks on my canvas. So yours will not be on transfer paper or tracing paper. This is tracing paper. Okay. Which I also recommend getting if you're going to do any kind of tracing, like let's say there's a photo of flowers that you like or this chapel, like in, in you have a copy of it or you print off a copy of it, lay tracing paper over top of it, outline your lines. Okay, so now you have your outline. Then you lay it over top, oops, like this. And then you lay it on your canvas and you're just gonna take a pencil or pen and go over top of your lines and it transfers the image 
on to your canvas. So this is one of those, you don't have to have this to get started um, for just normal painting. If you're doing the challenge, you want some transfer paper or you can scribble pencil. If you don't wanna go out and buy transfer paper, you can scribble pencil on the back side of your image and then flip it over and trace over it and it's still gonna transfer that pencil on to your um, canvas. So that's a little cheat for you. If you don't wanna go out and buy transfer paper, you can do that as well. Um, so I recommend um, transfer paper, graphite paper, um, carbon paper, whatever you wanna call it. You can get it in just little sheets, like a little package, um, or you can get like a big roll if, you're, if you know you're gonna use a ton of it. I, you probably won't unless, unless you're a teacher. Unless you teach local classes, you're probably not gonna use that much transfer paper, so I would recommend just getting a small package. And then I get, um, this is Strathmore, which again, this is usually, um, on sale, like buy one, get one half off at Michael's or something. Um, but I do the 14 by 17 size because like a lot of my paintings are done on 16 by 20 and I don't need it to be that entire size, but it will allow me like that's big enough to transfer my whole truck image on there. So tracing paper, if you want to trace things and then the transfer paper. All right. Awesome, Teresa's gonna sign up tomorrow. Yeah, so the Spring Challenge starts on Sunday. You have until Sunday to sign up for it. We are leaving it open just for stragglers. Um, if you end up late, again, you don't have to be there live to watch it with me. Um, we'll still have it open on Monday if you forgot and you're like, oh no, I didn't get to sign up. So it will, it will still be up on Monday, but we will have already taught the first lesson, but you can go back and go back and do it. Do we need it to paint the truck? You need, um, you don't need the um, tracing paper because you're gonna print the truck image from your computer. So you'll just print that from your computer. So you can either buy the transfer paper or you can scribble pencil on the back of what you print off. Ready for the truck, transfer paper. Yes, Jean, I have the gold paint pen here. So this in, and they finally put it on my Amazon, in Amazon. I couldn't find it forever. And it's a pretty good price. Um, so this is, I know it's backwards, but it's Deco Color Premium Metallic Gold. This is my favorite gold paint pen ever because that's what gives you this really, really pretty shiny gold. Not all of them are that shiny. They kind of dull after a while. This is super shiny. So if you want a super shiny gold pen, that is what I recommend getting. I get the chiseled edge. There are some that are just the round tip as well, but this is in my store and you can get it at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or Walmart. So it's available everywhere. So that is, and, and again, that's also for the spring truck. Or if you are like me and you just like metallic, I add this to a lot of my paintings um, and my watercolors and that kind of thing too. So it's just kind of a fun extra pop of color you can add to something. So I think that's it. That's it as far as like essentials um, that you need. So really brushes, mixed media pad, paint, and brush cleaner. Those are like your bare necessity. Like start painting at home, get past the fear, just get yourself some basic fun colors, get a pack of brushes, get a mixed media pad, and just start playing around with it. You do not have to have anything ready before Sunday. We are starting from the beginning. So we are starting with blank canvas and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it all. Jean's got all her supplies and she's excited, yay! I'm excited too. So this is my first pop-up group, so it's a whole new thing for me too. I am excited to see everybody's progress as we go along and I like that we're doing it in like baby steps along the way. So um, when you're in the group, when you're in the pop-up group, once you do like our day one challenge, I want you to post your pictures of your progress and day two in progress. And we'll just keep seeing everyone's progress the whole time um, until we get to the final, final product. What time does the video start? I don't know. It'll be Sunday evening. I'm not putting any specific times on any of them because um, I decided to do this over spring break, not on purpose. So I don't know what my schedule is going to be like every day but you will be able to access the videos whenever you want to. So I'll know more on a daily basis than to be able to give you like a five day schedule. 
The background does not have to be um, black. You can make it whatever you want to. So if you want to do something completely different, you can definitely do that, Pam. Um, you can just transfer the truck on there and you'll still learn all the detail of the truck and then you could make a sky or grass or whatever you want to for your background. So you can definitely get creative and make it your own for sure. Does anyone have any other questions for me? Will you do more in the future with the pop-up group? Not like regularly. Like I will probably do, my next one would probably not be until like June or September. So they're just gonna be kind of staggered throughout the year. It won't be a regular um, thing that I am doing. I do, that actually brings me to another point though, because I have one more fun thing I'm gonna do with you guys before we open the membership. And we are gonna do a live pajama paint party next Sunday night. So I'm gonna put an event up on the page. You can RSVP to that. I'm gonna let you know what to buy ahead of time so you guys have all your supplies and we're gonna do a live paint party. So just like you painting with me um, here locally at the Social Easel, we're gonna do it online instead. So grab your PJs, grab your paint, um, grab whatever you want and uh, a glass of wine or a cup of coffee, whatever your preference is. And we're gonna have a live paint party and I'm gonna do a super simple fun painting with you guys the night that we open the membership. So if you guys are interested in the membership, I want to make sure that you like learning from me first, that you like the way that I teach, and that it's something you know you want to do. Um, so that is why I'm on here with you guys so much and sharing so much with you because I want you to love it and I want you to be excited about it. And there will be some early bird specials for anyone that joins the membership on that Sunday night. So that is Sunday the 17th. So stay tuned for more details about that. Um, we'll, I'll be posting more about it. I'll let you know what the painting is and all that fun stuff. And th there's a cool thing you can do. I've gotta go back and look at all of it. But for those of you that are willing, you can raise your hand when we're doing the live paint party. I can pull you up on screen with me. So it would be a fun thing for us to do. Those of you that, I know not everyone wants to do that. <laughs> But you would be able to pop up on screen and we would get to see different people's um, artwork as we're doing the paint party. So um, technology is so cool. So I'm super thankful that I get to do this with you guys um, and share it with you. I love painting so much. I love creating um, and I love more than anything what it does for you guys. And so many people in my membership can speak to this because it's a stress reliever for people. It's a way to escape. It's doing something for yourself instead of always serving others. It's okay. It's good for you to take time for yourself too. You deserve it. Um, and there's so many women in my group who before, I would say almost all of them, unless they've painted with me locally, they haven't painted before. So I know a lot of you out there are thinking, well, it's probably for people who have more experience than me, and it's not at all. So uh, some of the women who just went through my boot camp, I just did a six-week boot camp, never painted before. The women in my membership, Becky, never painted before, and now she is just like knocking them out of the park. It's so exciting for me to see as a teacher to see people grow and see them overcome something that they thought they could never do, and now they're doing it, and they're loving it, and they're like ready to just explore more and... Um, Janice is another one. She did her first like original painting today and posted it in the group. Um, so it is just so exciting to see the growth and have, you know, to do it with a group of people instead of on your own. Um, yes, you can go look up YouTube videos. You can do that for sure. But you don't have the community. You don't have that one-on-one -on -one coaching from me. So I'm basically like your painting coach. Um, but the community makes such a big difference and it is so much more fun to paint with a group of people than it is to paint by yourself and then have no one to share it with. So um, anyways, super excited about it. I, it's been so long since we've opened the group back up. I can't wait to have um, some new members in there. Um, Shirley said, um, you would just, like if you were on your phone watching me, it would just, that's all it needs your phone or your um, camera on your computer. So whatever way you're watching me. If you were on an iPad or a phone, it just uses your camera to pull you up on 
on screen. Yes, Lisa, we love our art sisters. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. So I'm going to hop off. I am jumping over to my boot camp group really quick, and I'm going to share some fun little details for them, some special little treats that they get um, with the membership. So if you guys have any questions at all and I did not answer them, I will go back through the comments later. So if you didn't watch this live and you're watching replay, um, you know, I'll, I'll still go back and see see any questions that you have. Make sure you hit the share button um, if you haven't already. Um, let's share some art, let's share some painting and uh, help people out with figuring out what they need um, to get started at home. So I'm gonna jump off here with you guys and you probably won't hear from me over the weekend because I'm going to celebrate a friend's birthday. So I will be back Sunday for my pop-up group. So make sure you get in the pop-up group if you haven't already and come paint with us. Bye.